I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the chemical properties of silicon compounds. Okay, so we're looking at silicon, and let's just observe some of its chemical properties. Well, it's a solid at room temperature, which means that we know that its uh, melting point and its boiling point are going to be above that, and its melting point is pretty high. It's actually 1,414 degrees Celsius, so much, much hotter than you or I ever want to be. And its boiling point is obviously higher than that, and that's actually all the way at 3,265 degrees Celsius. So it's pretty stable as a solid on most of the temperatures that are on Earth. So other things about it, um, it's actually right under carbon on the periodic table. And just like carbon, it has four valence electrons. So it is free to donate or accept electrons. So it really has a lot of options of the types of bonds it wants to make because it can go either way. Unlike something very electronegative like fluorine, which really is just going to pick up an extra electron. It's never gonna really give away um, any of its electrons. So um, an interesting fact about silicon is that it is more dense as its liquid stage than its solid phase. So what this means what this means is that just like how if you have a cup of water the water is here and the ice will float because uh, water is actually more dense as a liquid than it is as a solid, silicon's the same way. So if you got somewhere around here at this uncomfortable temperature for us and made silicon cubes and silicon liquid, they'd also float. And while this may seem kind of normal because we think about water, for the vast, vast majority of compounds, this is not the case and the solid would sink to the bottom. Um, other things about silicon is that it's a semiconductor. And most of the time it has a gray color. I'm Robin Higgins and this has been some of the chemical properties of silicon compounds.